in this video I'm going to talk about why I switched from Mosul Manager to Jamf School. And I know that there's a lot of schools that are using both of these products. They both seem to work really well. Um, and probably lots of schools are happy with, with either one. Um, but this is just for me, some of the things that to me made a difference and why I made the switch. Um, and I kind of put them in three categories as far as user interface, search, and um, the ability to have groups and to use um, the check boxes. So I'm just, just uh, jump over into the dashboards for each product and kind of show you what I'm talking about. So um, I have uh, this is what I uh, walked into, and you know this was already in place when I started working here. And this is the Mosul interface, and it's this dashboard that you get here when you show up. And then they have these four tabs across the bottom. And again, to me, um, a, most, a lot of this is personal preference, but just having all these different tabs, um, and it was just seems like I could never remember like which tab goes to which like why is there school why is there management um, class manager preferences all these things along the bottom and then having to switch between them and then the apps and things like that so to me having them down here didn't really make sense whereas with Jamf you log in you get your dashboard which again is kind of the same thing you get a dashboard but everything that you need is over here on the left and that was just a cleaner um, a cleaner look for me to be able to um, figure out where things go. Um, another thing is that let's take a let's look at this here. So um, a, another big thing is the search for me. So if we're in Mosul and um, they finally renamed bulk operations to devices, which never made sense before, but so at least they improved that. But um, you know, basically, uh, if you wanted to search through all your through all your iPads you have to come up here and click on filter and then you have to choose whether you're searching by device name serial number whatever and then you can um, you know put in your search and then you have to click search and then it will actually do the search whereas if you're in Jamf here and you go to devices I can just immediately just start searching by the name of the iPad and it automatically filters without me doing anything if I type in the, the serial number uh, DMTB you know then it just automatically finds it so to me just that search convenience is just a really big user interface error to have to make people click on filter and then not only are you filtering but you're not you can't even you you can't even search by multiple units your only skin thing you can you have to select what you're searching by instead of being able to search by anything and this will even if I type in uh, red cart iPads um, it will search by the the member of what groups they're in just right on the devices page so to me the searching was just uh, way easier with that then the groups and the check boxes so to me there's just when you go to Jamf you just have devices and then you go you have your device groups and you can build out whatever groups you want you can do you know um, smart groups and or just um, static groups uh, those seem to work pretty well but you can easily create a new group and then when you're in your devices if you have some that you want to add to a group you just hit the check boxes you hit add to group and then it will just immediately let you add them to the group super easy whereas with um, Mosul it wasn't quite as easy to do that um, I don't even know how to do it over here but um, yeah it was harder to do that and then you had this device groups and then there was another section called um, you go to my school and then our, all ours are in the shared tablet carts um, which is basically like another way to make a group so again that's switching back and forth down here and then you're building groups over here so to me that was just weird because um, these the device groups over here um, add new device group so just back and forth and then when you go to the point of installing apps then the only way to install apps is to build an app profile and then after you build an app profile then you can click on the app profile you can click add application you can search for the app in here and then I have removed all my apps but you search for the apps and then you'd add them so it was just so many steps of okay I need to install app I need to go to this cart and I need to find my app I had to add app, search for it, select, checkbox, and then come down here and save. Whereas if you're in Jamf, you go to your apps, and you literally just find the app you want, frog dissection, that sounds cool, you click edit scope, 
you say I want to um, I want to add it to the test group you hit save and that's it done like three steps whereas jam or I mean whereas Mosul it just seemed like it took more steps and you always had I think the biggest thing to me is you always have to build a profile so in in Jamf school you just add the app to the group whereas in Mosul you have to add the app to a app profile and then the app profile has to be assigned to the group it's too much work so anyways um, to me um, again just user interface at Jamf everything on one page the ability to go through and just check boxes next to devices or check boxes um, next to apps and be able to take actions like that so much easier the search is better um, and yeah again all MDMs pretty much use the same the only features they can do is whatever Apple lets them do so the features are usually pretty close to being the same um, but in my case Jamf just seems to be working better for what I needed to do thanks